Hello everyone, I am Niharika Tiwari from Sociobix and today at Sociobix Talks, I am with the founder of Jarvis, Mr. Sumit Chanda. Thank you for joining me today Sumit, it's a pleasure to have you at Sociobix. Thank you so much Niharika. So Sumit, could you uh, tell me a little about yourself, a little background? Uh, so, uh, I have been into the BFSI segment for about 80 years now. Uh, then uh, and, and my, my experience completely uh, was either with insurance companies or wealth management companies. Eventually got this idea to come up with a tech based wealth product. That's where Jarvis was born in 2016. And it is completely an artificial intelligence based product which does fund management research completely autonomously. Okay. And how did you come up with the idea of Jarvis? Like why did you so, uh, so with all the experience that I have for so many years uh, working with the equity based product out in the market, one thing I realized was uh, the end customer was practically not happy investing. So if you look at the retail customers who are investing into the equity markets and the HNI customers, uh, the HNI customers has got products like PMS, AI, structured products wherein they get expert fund managers to take care of their funds. But if you talk about the retail investors, they are uh, completely left to their own choice of investing uh, so open a demand account and start trading by yourself and that's the class that loses money the most mm. so we thought that okay why can't we make a pseudo pms kind of a product for this segment of uh, customers and that's why uh, Jarvis was born now how do you cater to so many people with a hyper personalized solution that's why artificial intelligence is required so we clubbed in both the concept of uh, Pseudo PMS and artificial intelligence, and that's what Jarvis is all about. So, as someone who is new to investing, could you explain what is Jarvis? So, uh, apparently, uh, what happens is in Jarvis, you can come up, uh, the platform would ask you about 15 16 questions uh, okay. just to know you better, your profile. It will ask you how much you want to invest, for how long. Uh, and on which day you are investing. Based on all these things, the system will create your unique persona. Okay. Based on that persona, the AI system then goes out, looks at about 12 million data points from global and domestic equity markets, okay. uh, all the macro and microeconomic factors, and it comes out with a set of stocks which would suit to your persona. And that's how a portfolio is being recommended to you for whatever amount you recommend, uh, want to invest. Okay. And that's how uh, the portfolio is being created. Then on the other hand, we have integrated our system with about 21 brokers in the country. We, we, we are one of the platforms with the highest number of broker tie-ups in the country. So if you have your broker with any of those uh, brokers listed on our platform, the transaction is also super smooth. It happens practically on a single click. So that's how your entire portfolio can be managed to the entire year using the uh, using Jarvis app. Okay. That's how it happens. Okay, so but then uh, like for the stock recommend or the investment recommendation, the tools that you recommend. So is it like for a month or like like how long can I invest in that? So it, it's as I said, it's like a pseudo PMS. So when so it, it generates wealth over a period of time. So okay. whichever customer comes on our platform, we say that okay, this is at least a one year product. At least one year. At least a one year product. Though there is no lock in period into this because the money stays in customer's demand account, they don't have to give us the money. Mm -hmm. So customer can at any point of time sell it and exit from, uh, yeah, we liquidate their stocks. But then having said that, we still say that okay, at least wait for 1-2 years for generating good amount of returns on the platform. And they can go further? They can definitely go further. Yes, absolutely. Yes. So how do you make money then? So we do charge a, a fee from the customer. So annually we charge about 2.5%. Mm -hmm. uh, that's where in Dubai, so we charge 1.25% upfront and 1.25% after 6 months. So there's a 6 month cycle that keeps on happening. Okay. So customer also understands uh, the kind of performance that we deliver before he pays the next uh, 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 customer. Okay. So then uh, like uh, what kind of uh, like investment strategy do you have? Like how do you like manage the risk of investing in this product? Like how do you like manage the risk of investing in this product? Like how do you like manage the risk of investing in this product? Like how do you like
So I think that's uh, up to us to do more of branding and awareness <laughs> in the market. Uh, but on top of it, so we are actually coming out with the concept of emotionless investing. Okay. Because what happens is when it is equities, so buying becomes an emotional decision and selling of a stock also becomes an emotional decision. Uh, why I am saying emotional? Because a lot of emotion, emotion and behavioral bias comes into picture there. Mm-hmm. If I am making money, if I am losing money, so sometimes people just behave erratically and buy or sell. Now, that's what we try to avoid by using technology because only when technology says that, okay, this is possible or you need to exit, you need to buy, then only you should act and not just by, uh, I mean, your emotions or behavior triggering you. So we are coming up with a concept of customer uh, awareness and education by the name of emotionless investing. So you will see it very soon that we will be launching this concept and we will be feeding with a lot of information to the customer that how you should control your emotions and behavior when it comes to investing. So okay, one more question. So um, when it comes to investing, so suppose like uh, let's consider a hypothetical situation where everyone is like in using Jarvis okay? mm-hmm. and then you recommend that you know you should exit the stock and probably like 20% of your people are investing in. So doesn't it affect the market because people say that market is unpredictable. Absolutely. So wouldn't it indirectly like actually affect it? So that's a very interesting question. So uh, how it happens is in Jarvis uh, as I mentioned that it, th- these are hyper personalized portfolios. Mm. So the system would first know your persona, okay. then only recommend your particular stock. Your friend mm. will have a different persona. Mm. I will have a different persona. So the recommended stocks to all three of us will be different. Mm. So tomorrow even if I have 100,000 customers on my platform, there will be 100,000 different combination of uh, stocks and portfolios with us. Okay. So generally it will never happen uh, until we reach that really, really big scale that we are very heavy on a particular stock that if we sell then the entire market might tumble. Hmm. So, I mean, that, 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 that's a challenge that we need to face when we reach there. So, yeah. currently we don't have to think about those parts. Okay. So, speaking of challenges, could you point out the challenge that you faced? Like it's AI in the end. Right. So, you could have faced something. Of course, yes. Uh, see, uh, if you look at the investment market, especially the equity markets, for years it has been uh, driven by traditional approaches. So there's a broker, there's a sub broker, there's a customer who goes to the broker's office, sits there and trades. Now all of a sudden you are trying to explain that this customer that you don't even have to get up from your sofa and on the mobile app itself you can create portfolio, invest, sell, rebalance, do everything. Uh, and somehow you have to uh, you know, convince on the concept that what a human could not do, the system can do and much better. So this is a very big challenge because you are practically swimming against the tide wherein everybody, uh, the market is filled with traditional uh, brokers and traditional approaches of investment and you are saying that okay we have technology and we, we can do far better work than a human, uh, what a human can do. So that itself is a challenge so it might sound very small but that's a very very big challenge that we have to work for it. So it's been about 5 years I'm still working for it, I don't know, uh, once we do this emotional investing and with some more branding awareness we might work on these things. So what do you think the um, below the 30 category, so uh, these, the, this age category they have a lot of options available right? So the approach that you were trying or the you know the branding efforts or any, uh, everything for them would be different for, for these people, Absolutely. right? Yes. So what do you think, what's the potential for Jarvis? Do you think the, this generation would be more accepting or? Definitely they will be more accepting but mm-hmm. the only difference would be the people who are between the age of 35 to 50 or probably even above that, uh, they have understood that money can't be made in a shorter span in the equity markets. It can only be made over a period of time. So they are the ones who are staying on the platform for long. But if you look at people who are at sub 30, uh, these are the people, uh, uh, these are the segment who are looking for quick money. Yeah. So we are coming out with different products for specifically addressing this segment, wherein uh, instead of a portfolio, we will be recommending individual stocks. And it's absolutely your wish that you want to invest in one stock or multiple stocks. We are calling it one stock, by the way. Uh, so we are coming in, uh, coming up with that option. So I think that would excite this generation. So, uh, speaking of this generation again, so this is a little off topic, not about Jarvis, but 
still we are not financially literate we right. don't have the right knowledge we don't have the right uh, person or some entity to ed- uh, you know go to and ask about like i just heard people telling me that you should start investing now this is the right time right. i don't know how where so like could you give us some advice this generation from you know your perspective like, what should we do so i think uh when it comes to investment equity is the place where like i would say anybody should be investing into and especially the younger generation because the kind of money equities can make no other asset class can make it historically it has been proved if you look at any decade uh, or right from the inception of the markets there are no other asset classes which could beat equities now there's a lot of a fact going on with cryptocurrency but yeah. i mean that's a very highly volatile market so it can make money it can uh, you know lose money in a day so but then equity is something which over a period of time will only grow at a shorter span it might uh, you know degrow it might have a lot of volatility but over a period of time over a longer period of time it will only go upside so i think for the younger generation equity should be the best option to invest there are many options of getting into sip based equity investments uh, if not a option but then i would say any investment in equity has to be long term If you if if anybody is thinking that okay I will make money in six months or one year and I'll exit that's not going to happen. So that's how all the 35 to 50 aged people also thought 10 years back similarly and now they are stable. They understand the fact that it cannot be made overnight. So see so that's yeah. So that that's what I've read actually. That the first thing that you should know about investing is having patience. Absolutely yes. So you also mentioned a lot of you know uh, you are coming with uh, some product. with the product so what what are the future plans with jobs uh so we are uh, so the the core intelligent product that we have uh, so till date we were only managing portfolio of it right. uh now what we are doing is we have sliced down the entire core product mm-hmm. and we are coming out with a, a solution like one stop where instead of a portfolio we will recommend you individual stocks and it is absolutely your choice that how much you want to invest or whether you want to invest also or not but we will be keep uh, we will be sending you certain stocks on a uh, you know in certain period second is we are coming out with a product called jobs protect wherein uh, that's a very very unique product uh, nobody has in the country today a product like that wherein we are saying that okay you might not have invested with uh, any broker anywhere or some other advisor is managing your portfolio maybe in bms or anywhere you can upload those portfolios on our platform and my intelligent uh, yeah, the the ai of jarvis will keep alerting you in terms of it identifies any risky stock in the portfolio which the system feels that it should exit because it's going to fall now so uh, and and we are also coming out with this product at a very very nominal charge so that people are able to make uh, the most out of it so and it's it's a it's a tracking mechanism i would say rather than an investing so we are not going to recommend in that product where to invest but we are just going to tell you when to exit and this is a service that nobody provides today as we speak okay. on top of it uh, we are also creating uh, an enterprise solution for fund houses so we team sees insurance companies pms houses where in fund managers uh, does research over months uh, to identify 30 40 stocks to invest into now we want to reduce that time lag from you know few months to maybe few hours with the help of our product which will give very very smart insights ready made on the platform to the fund houses fund managers you can simply refer that and create funds in maybe minutes or hours so we are working on an enterprise solution for that uh, plus we are also exploring some of the global opportunities because still now over the last 5 5 and a half years we are there in the indian market only but we have realized that we have got global capabilities also and then why wait so as we speak we are registering a company in dif sindhwari and uh, once we are there we will start making similar global products and give it to the global players so that's on the overall plan of jobs that's on today so uh, since like on 16 right yeah. so would you say that would you say i want your opinion on this ki will technology make investing safer absolutely yes okay. because as i said that we only track about 12 million data points which includes all fundamentals of all stocks uh price and volume data from 2016 date which is 16 years data we look at regulations government policies any news or events that are happening live 
uh, or any other so it, it can be even twitter feeds so we look at everything and we process whether i should go and buy this stock hold this stock or sell this stock mm-hmm. that's a decision that we come up with now assessing 12 million data points humanly even by a 100 member fund house is difficult it's not possible so and and i'm saying that we are still scratching the surface when it comes to big data analytics and artificial intelligence in finance mm-hmm. 10 years more and i don't know where the technology like ours will reach so today we are just looking at 12 million data points tomorrow it will be 12 million data points globally so as we move ahead technologies will improve and definitely it will outperform it is already outperforming the human advisors but as we move ahead it will be much more safer and uh, definitely outperform the human that would make investing you know uh, people would be more accepting to investing in yes. it would be very would be less risky so uh, is there anyone else like you are this uh, not similarly there are many advisors in india uh, but then majorly you will see all human based advisors who do doing a human based fundamental research or some kind of quantitative research and all but uh, there is no clear player who is using completely an artificial intelligence or an autonomous process so you also have hybrid players who are using machine learning and artificial intelligence some portion and some portion is still humanly managed but we are the only platform where we are not looking the at the market so i don't have any not even a single analyst on board not even a single fund manager on board while we are managing about 100000 customers wow so that's that's the level of auto or automation that we are in so uh, you also mentioned crypto Yeah. So what are your thoughts on crypto? What is what is the future going for crypto? Uh, I think crypto is here to stay. Okay. Uh, but it's the early years for crypto. I would say for people to understand that product. So people have again looked at it as uh, while I was mentioning equity, that you can make faster money. Yes. That's not always possible. I mean, one of the cases it would have happened, but then that's not always possible. So people need to understand more on the fundamentals of crypto. There are I don't know how many thousand cryptos uh, and tokens listed, mm-hmm. but then if you look at the good ones, a handful. Uh, but then again, if you look at the global uh, crowd, they are still running behind identifying that one crypto coin which would give me thousand x returns. Yeah. That's not how it always works. One off case it might have worked. Uh, we have an agenda to get into crypto That's markets also, <laughs> uh, but not immediately. Uh, we will be setting this up uh, from our new year. Wherein we will be again applying artificial intelligence to the crypto markets to identify the potential ones, but we still have some time to reach to that level. Okay. We, we would completely capture the equity markets first, and then we get into the crypto markets. So yeah, since 2016, we still have a long way to go. Absolutely, yeah. That's great. So uh, thank you so much for joining us, Sudan. Uh, thank you. It was pleasure talking to you, Sir Shubhendra. My pleasure. Thank you so much, Sir.